upper bracket. He's won the last six major gaming tournaments. He's entered, and he hasn't lost a map or a match today. Toxic. It's going to be good. Let's get it over to the Shoutcasters. Oh, I want some predictions, guys. Who do you like? It's Brett Lutz and Joe Miller. Well, I mean, it's been a long year, Greg, and there's been a lot of great matches. Even at this tournament, you know, we've seen some absolute crackers. Uh, but I'm going to have to say Toxic, you know. He's, he's gone all these tournaments without losing. He's gone the whole tournament here without losing a single map. No one's going to be able to beat him, I don't think. I don't know. I mean, Fatality coming in and beating Soul Crates, pretty, uh, pretty good match there. But and that was, uh, like he said in that interview, a very good warm-up for him. I don't know, Joe. I think Fatality, he, he might have what it takes to finally dethrone Toxic. Let's see, shall we? We're about to go underway. Both of these guys are ready to go. And they are ready to go. So we're going to get this one underway. The World Series of Video Games 2006 Quake 4 Grand Finals. Toxic versus Fatality. Take us away, Brett. All right, starting off the match. Toxic comes up real big very, very early on with a kill. And looks like we're here. Trying to uh, see what he's going to do after that, and it looks like we're still we're following Fatality right after that respawn was able to grab that yellow armor. Watching Fatality now, taking a little bit of fire from Toxic. He's got to set himself apart a little bit. He's got to take control of the armors. Like we said on Frantic, of course this is Toxic's map pick. He's been very very strong on Frantic this whole tournament. Everyone knew he was going to pick it. Looking very strong so far, still with that only a one point lead, but you know what? Uh, a lot of people think that that first kill, that very, very first kill to set yourself apart from your opponent is the most important kill in the game. Yeah, that first kill, I mean, he gives you the momentum straight away off the bat. I mean, it was quite an early uh, first kill there as well. Um, so we'll see how Toxic can really uh, move on to this one. Let's switch it over now to him and see what he's got going on. You see his massive stack of armor there, just picking up that 200. He only benefited an extra four points on that. That's how much armor Toxic had. Of course, the maximum 200 was reached, but a lot of lightning on fire from Fatality going to knock him right down in health and armor. 41 health, 53 armor. Toxic eventually going to force Fatality back into that lower armor room. Take a look here. I mean, his armor sat at 88, 60 health as well. There's 25 health around that second tier of the middle going to be utilized quite a lot here by these guys, you'll see that on Frantic. Of course, uh, the other second map that we're going to be going to is Placebo Effect, which is Fatality's map choice. We saw him play at the Intel Summer Championships, um, but we've not seen it since from him, really. He's been more of a Monsoon King, but then again, so is Toxic. Why would you pick it? Why would you pick that against him? And a uh, for Fatality, and you know what? Fatality being the underdog, you know, you, you wouldn't think that you would hear that, but in this match, he definitely is. Toxic is uh, the man to beat at this tournament. Now, Fatality, let's switch over to him, see what he can do. It looks like we got some grenade play from Fatality, standing up above that red armor room. Toxic trying to get out of there. Fatality pops him with the rocket. He's going to hold him back in that for just a little bit longer. Two quick rocket jumps, and Toxic is out and away. As Fatality now, looking up that upper corridor, doesn't want to get caught by Toxic. He know Toxic knows exactly when to go aggressive and when to be defensive. Yeah, of course, Fatality has fought his way through the whole loser bracket here. He, uh, he actually lost out in the upper bracket to none other than Toxic. And uh, we saw Frantic there as well. 12 to 7 was the score in that one to Toxic. A very, very close game. We'll see how close it's going to be at the moment. It's all square. It couldn't be any closer. But we'll see what the deal is here. Fatality, as you can see, with 93 health and 93, 95 armor. Taking a look around there. A few more armor shards. Of course, five each they're worth when you pick them up. Let's take a look now over at Toxic. He's going to get that red armor. Vital pickup from him. Those grenades dropping from the ceiling above him. He knows he needs to avoid them. A lot of hyperblaster fire coming from the central area then as well from Fatality. Toxic going to reply with a few of his own. Steps on a grenade which knocks him into that lava for a half a second. Again, Fatality is still outside that red armor room, holding him in. And you can see Toxic's healthy of 42. There's no health inside this red armor room. If Fatality attacks him now, he's going to be in trouble. Luckily, the red armor spawned, and he's got plenty of armor to work with. But will that health be enough for him to escape? 
I don't think it's going to be because Fatality just hanging out on that outside there, waiting for it. You know, Fatality's got to back off sometime. He's going to go grab those yellows eventually. And it looks like he's not doing it yet. Toxic still trapped down in him. 36 HP. Fatality's just going to work on it. He is going to go aggressive here very quickly. Hyper Blaster and Lightning Gun coming out from Fatality. Toxic pulls back for the third red armor and it looks like it. he rocket jumps out meets fatality on the other side gets two rockets off and toxic is in trouble if he goes for that health bubble he's gonna be in very very big trouble down to 9 HP can he get out of this area this is a very sticky situation 3 HP with fatality finally gets that kill right there he worked so hard for that kill and the tiny payoff gets the conversion off of that very good work for fatality staying on toxic there yeah, Face Talks is a great work. If the whole game stays like this, this is going to turn out to be the best game of the year. Again, we're seeing 3 to 1 here. Fatality still in that lead. Of course, we are switched over and watching Fatality right now. You can see he's got only se he's got 70 armor. He's on that second tier of middle. Using that machine gun quite nicely there. A little jump and a couple of shots right into Toxic. He's going to be the one this time that picks up that red armor. Big rocket hit comes in from the uh, from the ceiling above him from the vent. Again, going to work. On to Toxic with that lightning gun. Not really doing much damage at that point, but he's picked up that lower yellow armor as well. His, his armor total is quite high now, 154. He's picked up more of those armor shards. All grenades being tossed around. That's one of the uh, more, one of the more useful weapons on this map uh, is the grenade launcher. Of course, there are multiple tiers, which means you can fire those grenades over, and your opponent doesn't see them coming until usually it's too late, and they decide to walk right on them. Toxic at the other side of that uh, teleporter exit platform. You can see the grenades being thro uh, thrown over the top there by uh, Toxic again. Through the teleporter he goes. At the moment, still Fatality has that two-point buffer to work with, and of course, the thing that we've seen a lot from Fatality this tournament on Frantic is the hiding. You know, he's very, very defensive. Well, here comes Toxic, really aggressive and too aggressive. Fatality is going to take him out with a lightning gun. He was totally prepared for that one. It looks like we could see a bit of a conversion frog here as well. A couple of hits with that lightning gun. Nice couple of rockets from Toxic and a very nice one. He's going to knock his health right down. But again, he's got that armor to compensate, which is going to save him. Fatality looking very strong. That last kill on that back corridor is pretty much stopping Toxic in his tracks and getting that kill. So here's Fatality. I'm taking a little bit of damage from the lightning gun from Toxic. Let's actually switch over to Toxic. He's the one who's got uh, the work to do at this point. It's still a 4-1 to score. Toxic now sees some grenades coming out. Fatality is uh, really working those grenades. He's doing a good job almost this entire tournament with those grenades. We've seen some dead on grenades here. And Toxic finally getting out of there. He doesn't have very much HP. He turns around and he kills himself. And that is something that you do not see. Take a picture of that because I doubt that's going to happen again. That's going to uh, get rid of that point that Toxic had on the board. They forward a zero score now. Toxic faces again a fatality with a full lightning gun. Trying to get out of the red armor area. This has been a very bad sticky situation for Toxic. Oh, oh, wow. Prediction rocket all the way across the map. Takes him out. What happened, Joe? Yeah, that was a mid-air rocket. Something that you see not on such a regular basis and especially not going at that sort of speed. But there goes Toxic again with a reply. And he's going to bring this back to a four-point game. We'll see what he can do. See if he can get himself back into this one. I believe that he can, you know, this guy is an absolute machine. It's not often you see him make mistakes. You've seen him do it once already uh, in this match, killing himself earlier on. He managed to claw, claw that one frag back. Opens up with a lightning gun onto Fatality. That's not really going to uh, make it for him. Again, that rocket missing the platform on the first attempt. Let's see what he's got to work with. Let's take a look at Fatality to see how he's bearing up at the moment. Uh, sat there with no armor whatsoever, which is not a good sign for him. He's going to finally get that lower yellow armor, which he desperately needed. If Toxic could have came into him, then he would have been really, uh, really in trouble. And again, he's been chased down with the lightning gun. All his armor has gone once again. That lightning gun from Toxic took it all off him. Yeah, Fatality now with no armor. You know what? This is, uh, I, I did call Fatality for the prediction, but this is surprising a lot of people, especially with the self-kill there from Toxic. This is an absolute surprise here. Five to one 
on Frantic against Toxic, Fatality winning. Who would have thought it? Well, only at the World Series of Video Games, folks. We do have uh, nine minutes gone in this match. Time is running down for Toxic. Uh, I don't think it's, I've ever said that. Time is running down for Toxic. I don't think it ever has been running down for Toxic. That's the problem. I, I don't think so either. A look back in the match here, and Fatality right now, we're watching him. He does have a, a pretty good armor stack, and Fatality uh, sees Toxic, and they both miss rockets in the middle of the air. And here is the lightning gun from both players, and Fatality uh, ultimately walks out the winner in that situation. Didn't get a kill from it, but he didn't get killed, and that is a good thing. 26 HP as Fatality is on the run. Toxic is going to be on the chase. He's able to get away. Yeah, I mean, of course, these guys are strong. Four points here, we've got five minutes left, and Fatality is going to kill himself. Not good news, and it comes back to a three-point game. Only three points in this one now. It's super, super close, and uh, we don't have all that much time left remaining here. Watching Toxic now. He's the one that's doing the chasing at the moment. Three points behind. Here comes Fatality. Blows Toxic away. One brilliant rocket directly into his chest, and a second one to finish off. And he extends that lead once again to a four-point. Still watching Toxic now, as he's the one who has all the work to do. Down by four points in the first map of the Grand Finals. Playing for lots of money and a shiny new Rolex. As Toxic now, spamming some rockets. Fatality's actually caught in that red armor room. Of course, Fatality makes his way out of there. Toxic gonna be on the chase. Nice rocket all the way down that upper corridor here. Toxic knows it's time. It is time to get things done. Yeah, let's take a look at Fatality. It was hit with a really, really direct rocket there. So it managed to recover a little bit since then. He's actually got quite a nice uh, little chunk of armor. In comes Toxic though. These guys going head to head with the lightning bolts. It's going to be Toxic coming out on top again. Three points and it's all getting a little bit closer here. We've got three and a half minutes remaining. Definitely enough time on a map like Frantic to do this. Again, Fatality is hanging around this middle area. He doesn't want this lead to uh, pull away from him. To fall away from him. See the Toxic again. He's coming chasing in. He knows what needs to be done. He knows that to get this job done, he's got to go super attacking because Fatality can run pretty nicely around this map and evade really, really well. Again, Toxic coming in from above. But Fatality is going to drop away with that yellow armor pickup. 26 armor he's got at the moment and this is the exact position we've seen him in for quite a lot of his games on Frantic. Sits on this corner it gives him the ability to either jump down to the left and away through the middle or up that back corridor there we're going to see it and he gets a nice rocket off into Toxic in the process as well. Toxic going to come chasing now. Fatality opening up. Look at his health. 28. Is that 50 going to save him? He's in the wall there but manages to escape with 14 HP. Toxic spamming those grenades down from above and in comes with the lightning gun. And he actually forces Fatality into the lava. Oh, what a great bit of work from the machine gun. Fatality, good comeback on that one. Very good comeback on that one. It was almost a 4-2 game. Very, very short amount of time. Switching over to Toxic now, see what he can do. Does have uh, 42 HP. Rocket jumps up through the hole. You know what? Fatality hasn't won a Quake tournament yet. A Quake 4 tournament yet. He has not won one. And what? A tournament to start winning them. I mean, come to the grand finals winless, and you know, do this to Toxic. It's it's quite the story here. I'm pretty surprised. I have to say, I, I wasn't expecting this at all from Fatality. There's still a long way to go. Even if he does manage to win this map, of course, he's got to win not one but two best of threes uh, coming from that low bracket. He's already fought his way through that after losing to Toxic earlier on in this tournament. But now he's looking for revenge, and so far so good for him. He's got a three-point lead. Again, we're watching Toxic chasing him down. Oh, stops in his tracks by the rocket launcher. Great evasive work again by Fatality. Not only did it stop him in his tracks, look at his health, right down to 38. He's not even going to bother about that upper yellow. Look, Toxic running straight past it. He's looking for the kill, going straight into that red armor room. Manages to get the hit as well, but is it going to be enough for him? He's still only got 34 health. 
Toxic moving here, bro. Toxic moving very, very quickly through the map. Uh, we just hit that one minute warning, and Toxic gets the kill and brings it to within two. And this is the closest he's been in a while. He had it at four to two just for a moment. Fatality had a perfect kill right after that. Toxic in trouble down to 12 AP. It's going to starve him of the armor. Is that a good decision? I think it is. As Toxic knows what he has to do. Coming up on that 30 second mark. Not much time left at all. If he can get this kill right here, he's definitely going to get it. He's down in there and makes Fatality die in that acid. And look at this. He's got him trapped in there. We do have just a rocket launcher for Fatality. 20 seconds on the clock. He doesn't want to die. 22 HP. Let's switch over to Fatality. Down to 13. It's all going to come down to who gets this last kill. If Fatality gets it, he's going to win. If Toxic gets it, we will go into overtime. Oh, 7 HP. Him. Shotgun behind him. We've got 3 seconds remaining. 32 HP. He's going to get it from Fatality. Wins the first lap here against Toxic. Who would have thought this is going to happen? The World Series of Video Game Finals. First lap is going to go over to Toxic. Uh, sorry, over to Fatality, should I say. I'm so used to saying that, you know. Um, and now he's going to move over onto the next map here. It's going to be Fatality's pick. I'm ex After that, I can probably see him winning that one as well. I'm very excited for that. He's uh, doing a great job that whole time, uh, playing his defensive game, knowing when to attack. At the very end, Toxic almost had it. 7 HP there, Joe. 7 HP. Yeah, I mean, you can see the excitement on Fatality's face over there. He's just... I've not seen him like that for a long while. Of course, he's not won a Quake 4 tournament to date. What a place if he can do it here. Okay. Yeah, come in winless in the uh, in the tournaments, and to come to the grand finals and do this to somebody like Toxic, who's been so dominant all year long, it's quite the feat. You are watching history, ladies and gentlemen. You're watching history. Uh, so maybe we'll see what happens in this one here on placebo effect. Of course, Toxic needs to win this one if he wants to force this one into a three mapper. Of course, he still has that extra little buffer uh, with the fact that, uh, that Fatality needs to win two best of three sets. Even if Fatality wins this, he's got to start all over again. We're going live here, placebo effect. The second map, Fatality one up. Let's take it away, Brett. All right, we're getting started on this one. I am on Fatani. He was able to grab the red right off the start. Looking at Toxic, he doesn't have any armor at all. Yeah, and Fatani is yeah, yeah. the match with a well-placed rail shot. One to nothing, Fatani. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of speechless at the moment. You, know, I'm, you really rarely see this. And again, Toxic going to get railed. And we saw that railgun from uh, Fatality earlier on against Snowface. So, so very deadly after this red arm pick up. Another kill. It's 30 seconds into this game. What's going on? Fatality is 3 to 0. Is it the crowd? Is it the pressure? Toxic is falling apart. Toxic is falling apart. And you know what? I, I don't think I would ever hear that, like I said. But you know what? Uh, Toxic with 50 HP did hit a rail there, so he wants to slow this game down and Fatality comes in with another kill, standing on that red armor. Toxic really has to put his game over. Let's switch over to Fatality. He's in the lead. He's got the momentum. He's making the shots that everyone wants to see, so let's take a look at him. And Fatality now is popped up and no real damage coming from it. Still sitting at 109 HP, he's got 44 armor, he needs to pick up that red, which he's waiting on it. He wants to grab that red. Toxic, Toxic is down below, and the red is there, and Fatality picks it up. With a 4-0 lead on Placebo over Toxic, Fatality is looking very, very strong, Joe. Yeah, great lead so far, I mean, only a minute and 38 into this one. And uh, of course, Fatality took that one. If you're only just tuning in, then you know, that's how it's going at the moment. Really, really awesome. Fatality is going to have to win this, this next lap and then force it to again. But he's doing a great job of the out moment. There's the middle five. Five to zero. One minute and 55 seconds in. Just barely two minutes. And he's already got his five point cushion. Looks like it could be more. And it's going to be more. It's going to be a six point cushion. This is what we were talking about earlier, Brett. Fatality in the limelight, in the media spotlight. This is where he just goes crazy. This is where he really shines. He's had so much uh, attention from the media and he knows exactly how to handle that pressure. This is blowing my mind here. Seven to nothing. Fatality up over Toxic. Toxic, uh, switch over to him and see where he's at, see what he's doing. Looks like he does have uh, only one armor left. 
He's being starved. It's, it's exactly what's happening. He's only able to get in on the yellow, which he gets in there right now. It takes a lot of damage. I mean, that 50 armor is immediately cut down to 24 as soon as he grabs it. So, you know, he's starving. He's starving Toxic, and Toxic is pretty much begging for something, and he's just not getting it. Yeah, 8 8 gave yeah. that. Not even talked about the map placebo yet. We've been too busy in the action. Fatality already up by a huge market after such a short period of time. Um, of course, placebo effect here it does have the red armor, does have the yellow armor, and of course that mega health as well. All three at the moment are seemingly being controlled by Fatality. Let's take a look at him. You can see 199 health. That was up at 200. He's going to go attacking into Toxic. Oh, he just gets out of range of the red of the white eagle. And then into the range of the railgun string is one of him, easy kill. Yeah! And again, on the conversion. He's making all the good stuff. I mean, Toxic's never played like this. We've never ever seen Toxic play like this. Fatality has completely thrown Toxic off of his yeah! game. And look at the kills just raining in from Fatality. 11 to 0, just 3 minutes and 50 seconds yes! in. We haven't been playing too long. Another rail hit across the map. People around the world watching this who, who know these two guys right here, Jaws on the floor. Unbelievable, yeah. Joe. Yeah, Jaws, Jaws will be on the floor. I mean, mine's on the floor at the moment. That's why I can't really speak too well. You know, this is just oh. again. Toxic oh, falls okay. to his death that time. Five feet, Toxic's lightning going well just at the right time. And he hit the ground. No help. He died. And then he's going to get the conversion frag as well. 12 to minus one is the score at the moment. And we've not even uh, had five minutes yet. <laughs> Haven't had five minutes at all. And taking a look, we're going to switch over to Toxic and see, see if we can find out exactly what's going wrong. Yes. Toxic with a kill, his first kill, and it's going to bring him back to zero. Toxic now taking a, a, a lot of damage from the machine gun and fatality. Wait for him to come down. And that's a very good job getting another kill. Will Fatality be able to get the conversion here? And as Toxic with that Hyper Blaster working on Fatality a little bit. Yeah! Rocket Launch is going to spin him back. And that is the uh, conversion right there. And he grabs 14 points up over Toxic. And we've only played for five minutes, Joe. We have, and if we continue like this, it's going to be not just beating Toxic, but thrashing Toxic, you know? 14 to 0. He's made one kill so far. It looked like he was going to get a second, but Fatality made uh, some awesome moves and managed to get that all gone quiet right now we can see that fatality just hanging around looking down at that red armor see where toxic is he's around the other side he's doing exactly the same here comes toxic hyper blaster flying it's not really going to make much contact once again fatality going to go a little bit more aggressive landing a couple of rockets just at his feet not really doing too much damage. You can see Fatality's armor is sat up at 160, 88 health here as well. And that's going to go right up to 200 as the mega health picked up. Surely he's going to be able to get another couple in a row here. Almost got that full stack. Here comes Toxic. Toxic just picking up that yellow armor and some more nice lightning gun work. And again, Toxic kills himself. And after getting himself off minus one, he's back down there in those lowly minus figures. Gonna go for a pummel here, Fatality. Surely not gonna let that happen. I mean, Fatality can do it to me. He did it to me in War Billion, but he's not gonna let. He's not gonna let Toxic do it to him. Still following Fatality here. He, it looks like Fatality's down pretty low, and another kill coming in. As uh, they got a double kill, they both killed each other. Watching Fatality as he's up on that upper end, and he's gonna go for the Mega. What he's gonna do here? Fatality really in control. Doesn't have the red though. He doesn't have very much armor and grenades hitting Toxic doing a good job. As still sitting at 100 HP. Needs to go pick up some armor. The yellow was picked up by Toxic there. Fatality now making his way over to the upper side of the map waiting for that yellow there. It was just picked up by Toxic not too long ago. Toxic has to starve him now. Switch over to Toxic. He has to starve him. He has to take away those armors. Keep getting them. He went over for the Mega Health, and there was Fatality right on it. Stole it in front of him, and Toxic picks up a kill. And things could be looking up, but no. The machine gun brings it 17 to 1, Joe.
Yeah, saved by the Mega Health at least for a few seconds until Toxic spawn quite close to him there. But again, you see that uh, Toxic going hell for leather. Trying to get this uh, score deficit back. It's an LG from above and Toxic could be in trouble. Down to nothing! Uh, LG totally destroys Toxic there. He's gonna go straight in as well. Quite, a, quite attacking from the spawn. With that light, he's gonna pick up some armor shards and makes it as well. So it tells you really should have killed him. But as it was, it didn't. It's now 18 to 2. Toxic keeps dropping down. Not much health left himself here. And Fatal's is gonna get up there with the LG. And as he does, he breaks it out. Toxic's gonna fall. The spawn is next to that yellow armor though. 20 health. Missed the armor from Matt, but again, Fatality coming super aggressive right into it. This is what we said that needed to happen here, Brett. They need us to go super aggressive and play his game and another lovely mid-air rocket. Well, Joe, I mean, do you think that, you know, Fatality, hearing that interview from Socrates, do you think that that could have been a curse on Toxic, hearing Socrates saying, you know what, of course, of course Toxic's gonna win. Do you think that that is inspiring Fatality to play like he is? Um, I'm not sure what's inspiring Fatality to go. He's absolutely on top of his game now, we're at 20 to 4, and uh, this is not a score you're ever likely to see against Toxic. Switching over to Fatality now, sitting at only 23 HP. Toxic is picking up a lot of kills now. The thing I notice is when he does get a kill, the crowd isn't as loud as Fatality's. And you know what? I don't know if that's affecting Toxic at all, but checking out this one right here. Toxic working really good with that LG. Pushing Fatality all the way down. Mega health on its spawn, and Fatality waiting there for it. And there he is with the machine gun. He's had a lot of machine gun kills. Not backing off. You know, usually players with a machine gun think that they can't do it and they back yeah. off and they get a lot of machine gun or of uh, lightning gun on them as they're backing off. Yeah, we can see that Toxic going in a nice rail. Really, really close range stuff there. And again, a bit of a battle on this yellow arm. And again, Fatality makes it with the machine gun. And that's, I mean, obviously off the start, it went 3 0 up in like 30 seconds or something. And then that's one of the things that really did it for him. Toxic gonna reply again. So uh, let's switch it over here to Toxic. Fatality got that yellow off the spawn, but Toxic is on him. He's gonna chase him through the teleporter. Actually, the rocket went through that teleporter. And it hit Fatality and took him out as well. Again, Toxic maybe in a little bit of trouble. 32 health, 4 health, no health! Again, the machine gun comes out for Fatality. Lights the floor with Toxic, and he's now 25 to 9 in the lead. Toxic working on Fatality again, and he took a lot of machine gun fire right there by that red armor. Standing on the yellow armor spawn, and Fatality replies with two rails. And that is going to be another kill on the board for the American. Toxic sitting at 118 and only 15 armor right after that respawn. Picks up that mega health and gets ready for the next battle. And wow, nice hyper blaster work there from Toxic all the way across that area there. It's 10 points. You know, he's clawed his way back from negative one to all the way to 10. Yeah, I mean, he's got a lot of kills, but let's face it, he's not got as many as Fatality, and that's what counts in the end. Um, so we've got four minutes remaining here on Placebo Effect. This is the second one. Let's switch it over now to Fatality, see if he can rack any more up. On his impressive game so far. He's going to go in for the red arm, and he's going to pick that one up as well. Toxic just up on that lightning gun spawn. Fatality re released a couple of rockets. Should have predicted trying to catch him out a little there. Hundred armor still full. Fatality just picking up a bit of ammo as well. Being hit with a railgun in the process. Get a bit more health, and in comes Toxic with a lightning gun. He's flung up in the air, but manages to keep his aim strained onto Fatality. <laughs> carry on here again. Fatality off the spawn, trying to go to work with that MG. Let's take a look to see how much health Toxic has left. A uh, good 43, and also that hundred armor breath. Yeah, Toxic looking real strong in the end of this match. You know, if he keeps this up, keeps the pressure on, and doesn't die, uh, it's it's possible. It's possible to do it. Not probable, though. It would be great to come back ever, ever, yeah, ever, ever, ever. 26 to 13, as he's got to do double what he's done so far, just to even tie Fatality. And Fatality, right now, of course, in defensive. He is going to be running away from Toxic as much as he can. Toxic on that yellow, here comes Fatality, gonna end it off with the with the lightning gun, and Toxic gets another kill. 
Waiting for that respawn and seeing when he can go to Fatality again. And a grenade in the face of Toxic ends it off with a shotgun. Only 52 HP. Will Fatality get another one with the machine gun? And he does. 27 points on the board for Fatality on Placebo. Very good stuff here. Yeah, Toxic has actually picked up that red armor this time and he's going to pick up the mega health as well so it gives him a little bit of something to work with we're just about to hit this two minute mark here on placebo of course if fatality continues like this he's going to force it into a second best of three and again forcing it through with a rail gun and manages to connect this time fatality going to go down going to keep pushing toxic he knows what he needs to do and he did he, he played the exact same last time on Frantic, you know, he went super super aggressive in the last couple of minutes. It didn't work out for him there. We'll see if it can work out for him here. Manages to get one rail. Gonna miss his second now. Pick up the yellow arm and go just gonna go aggressive with fatality with some great grenade. We've seen this time and time again from Fatality placing those grenades in front and behind and behind his opponent. And he just literally can't go anywhere except walk on top of it. Yeah, stock toxic. Falling victim to the grenades there. Not very much time left. We're coming up on that one minute mark. Switching over to Fatality here. He's on the chase. He's got 44 HP, but Toxic coming through that teleporter here. Oh, waiting for it again. And uh, Fatality kills Toxic and himself. We've got one minute left here, but we do. And it looks like uh, Fatality uh, trying to end it strong. Heading into the next set of three. These guys have to play again. It's going to be really hard uh, for Fatality. But you know what? With this momentum, I think he can definitely pull it off. He's got the momentum going. Toxic trying his hardest, but again, I am just going to run Fatality. We've got 30 seconds left. 25 seconds, really. Around. You see that hyperblaster coming through the teleporter and quite a lot of it actually hitting yeah. Fatality but a lovely rail just as Toxic drops down for that red armor oh. and again it's taking time those rails just flowing through freely here for Fatality 31 to 19 to score uh, to 10 sorry and uh, he goes yeah. again 31 to 18 the final score and the crowd on their feet the whole back row Understand, you know, Fatality's got a massive following here. He's accomplished 50% of his mission. He's only got to do the last 50 if he wants to win. And actually, Toxic actually collapsed for Fatality as uh, the end of that one right there. 31 to 18 on Placebo. Fatality beats Toxic 2-0, and that's Toxic's first loss in this tournament. It's actually first loss of a map in this tournament, Joe. Yeah, and of course, he's not been down in that. Um, in that situation since ISC, I mean, he was the one that had to come back from the low bracket, you know, so this is going to be tough for Toxic. Toxic! It is going to be tough. Everybody in this it crowd is from Fatality and wants Fatality to win. Everybody on the internet wants you to win. Do it for them. Play smart, play your game. <coughs>
Let's look over to Toxic to see who is going to get the first kill. Will he be able to do it? Toxic has, has never been, never had his back up against the wall like this. Or at least it hasn't been a long time, Joe. In your opinion, from what you've seen so far, who's going to get that first kill? Um, I mean, it's difficult. We can see that Toxic at the moment has got a nice big stack. And this is what he does perfectly on Monsoon. He can control everything about the map. And he literally just runs around in circles and frags his opponent to massive magnitude, you know. Uh, 137 health, 182 armor. As again, it takes a peek out towards that red armor area. Grenades being used just to cover his back there a little as he picks up that red armor and he hit the full 200 stack of armor there. And I just saw Fatality flash by to his left. I'm not sure if he saw it. I think he did, judging by those prediction rockets. Fatality just at the other side on the wall. Again, managing to uh, hit, but still no kill yet. We're almost two minutes into this one here on Monsoon. Both players know there's a lot at stake. They don't want to risk getting this lovely rail shot there from Toxic. And he's going to go chasing in. Red armor being stolen by Fatality this time. Toxic again going to be spamming those grenades down low. Trying to get something on him. Through the teleporter he goes, and again, that yellow armor going to be picked up, but there goes Fatality onto the Mega Health. A big lightning gun battle here. Toxic not so much ammo, he can yeah! see ticking out quickly, but he manages to get the kill, and he goes into the lead. He's up now after 2 minutes and 30 seconds. Right after that, we're switching over to Fatality, yeah! and another kill coming in for Toxic, and that's his exact, this is exactly what on, he wants and exactly what he needs. Toxic now working on a Fatality again and another kill coming in here. Fatality has got to get some armor. Didn't have any armor at all on that last encounter. Picking up the armor shards there. As he's now heading into the red armor room. Takes one rocket, takes two. Third one and a fourth and the fifth one finally comes in there. And takes him down. Excellent rocket work from Toxic. The Swede is looking very good, very determined. You know taking that loss right there, it's got to be getting at him. A 5-0 score in favor of Toxic. This is an exact mirror of what we saw before. In fact, Fatality finally on the board. They kill each other. Both going to go up one point. 6-1. to one. Let's see what Fatality's doing, Joe. Yeah. Toxic. At the moment, um, he's got the mega health under control, you know. He's just chilling out, pretty much looking for a little bit of armor to work with. Got nothing on him at the moment. There's those armor shards just down below him on that grassy area that he can utilize. There's five of them down there, five each. You know, so uh, 25 armor wouldn't be a bad little uh, pickup right now. He's got nothing. He's going to go contesting for this red armor. Manages to make contact with a rocket as well. And he's going to wait for that mega health to spawn in a lovely prediction. Rocket coming down, landing at his feet. Managing to get the lightning gun kill as well. He's seven to one in the lead. Picks up that yellow and he's going to go again. He's going to keep going and going until he's got a comfortable lead here. Toxic now working on Fatality as Fatality tries to get out of that red armor room. It spawns and Toxic hits a rail onto Fatality and takes a seven point lead here. And Fatality in a little bit of trouble but Toxic down pretty low. Has to go retreat and back up, pick up some HP and a rocket behind Fatality, boosts him forward, and pretty much stopped mid-air with a, a great rocket from Toxic. Fatality is definitely in trouble on Monsoon, and you know what? Fatality has been playing Monsoon the entire tournament. He picked it for every one of his matches except for that last one, where he picked Placebo. The switch in this one is Toxic has actually picked Frantic. Or, he picked France at the last time he picked Monsoon, so uh, the switch is definitely paying off. A, a little change of pace, and that could be... Oh, did you see that rocket all the way across the map? What happened there, Joe? Yeah, he basically was just playing a bit of prediction, and Fatality was just in the wrong place at the wrong time. He walked straight onto that one. Nice and played by Toxic. He's going to go through this teleporter again. He knows where Fatality is. He saw those grenades being pushed down towards him. Forced him away, at least away from that mega health. Now he's going to go on the attack once again. His arm shards belong to him, and he's going to go try and take something away from Fatality's 12 torn up. And maybe those wise words from too good of a sat in the audience have done Toxic some good here. Pushing down again and again, he's going to make the kill. He 
24 health, no armor for him at the moment. We're just about to hit six minutes gone here on Monsoon. More prediction rockets coming out, hoping that Fatality will just run into them. Take away some of that armor and health that he's got on him. There goes one, he manages to hit one. And a second and a third. He's gonna chase him down now with a lightning gun, no armor. Risky maneuver, but he knows that he got those hits earlier on. And they can probably afford to do that. Still plenty of health. And there he goes, gonna finish it off. Some nice work, very tactical stuff by Toxic. And he's now 14 to 1 in the lead. Let's switch it over and see what Fatality's up to. Fatality is uh Fatality is getting hit by rail shots and being controlled. Moving around, he does have 36 HP, and he's in that grassy area. You know, Toxic knows he's there. Comes around the corner, and right after that respawn, another rail coming in here. As Toxic was pretty much boosted, that was the easiest mega health jump he's ever going to have with assistance from Fatality. Fatality now with no armor. Only the armor from those armor shards, and Toxic again comes behind him. This is an exact repeat, a mirror of what we saw before, except Toxic is the one doing the doing all the punishing. Remember, Toxic is coming in from the uh, from the upper, and after that last match right there, these guys are even. So no matter what, it, so what happened before doesn't matter. Whoever wins this is going to go on as the winner, the champion of the WSVG. Yeah, that was all. Toxic's doing a good job here on his map. Probably a wise choice to change things over from Frantic. Next one, of course, will be Placebo at the moment. That's looking like it could be the decider here for Fatality. He's here he's 17 to 1 behind. He's got just over half of the game to go. In theory, he could do this one, but I can't see Toxic slipping up now. We've seen barely any mistakes from him all year. In fact, we've probably seen more mistakes in the last best of three than I have from the whole year of Toxic. Yes. Yeah. Good statement because yeah. that's about as true as it gets. I mean, Toxic is known for not making mistakes, and uh, you know he killed himself a couple times. We've seen him in the negative, which you don't see Toxic in the negative, but he's definitely informed this one. Let's switch over to him. 125, 69. It's a decent stack. He needs a little bit more armor as he's going to make his way into that red armor room. Fatality is up on top. Toxic going to stay a little bit to the side. He's going to dodge some grenades. Was able to grab the red. And he's easily going to be able to make it out of that room there. Toxic doing whatever he wants. And he knows it. He knows he's able to do whatever he wants. Yeah, he's just picked up that uh, lower yellow, uh, sorry, that yellow armor again. Plenty of armor and health. And he might just get off another rail. Just a little bit of a white one. Similar to what we saw last time. Maybe Fatality can put something together, oh, another oh. couple of rails in a row, oh. and the third one from Toxic. And this guy is looking like his, uh, like his usual self here. 20 to 1, Toxic is up here now. Combination with that lightning gun, he'll probably be wishing that he picked Monsoon in the first place. I guess his uh, choice was judged, judged on the fact that Fatality had done so well on it throughout this whole tournament here. Again, just hanging around in that yellow arm, in that red armor room. Red armor going to be picked up here as well by Toxic. Let's take a look at Fatality. He's got the one. He's the one that needs to do all the chasing. He needs to put a big comeback together. Got not much at the moment, you know. 19 armor. Got the rocket launcher and the uh, lightning gun. Nothing in the way of the rail gun at the moment. Well, that's probably going to be changed in a second. Just hanging out on the exit to that teleport, waiting for Toxic to come through. There he is, though. Gonna be down below that mega health platform. Manages to hit him with a rail. Hit him with a bit of L G as well, and another nice rail. Toxic as Fatality drops down in the rail and covered. Yeah, you know you gotta be thinking, what is going through Fatality's mind right now? He's just coming off of a, a, a pretty big high. I mean, an emotional high here. Uh, he just beat Toxic. No one else has been able to do that. Take a single map away from Toxic this entire tournament. He just beat him pushing it to another set of three. Now we head into this one, and Toxic is doing very, very well. He, he knows at this point it's going to be next to impossible to come back in this one. Um, there, there's always a miracle, but you know what? I don't think that the miracle is going to happen in this map. It's definitely not over, though. 
We still have another map after this one, but, you know, as far as Fatani goes, he really needs to get himself pumped up and ready for the next map. Looking at this one here, we do have Fatality now. Uh, got a kill onto Toxic. Got a little bit of cheers from that one. 23 to 2. 21 points. Ahead is Toxic. And you know what, Fatality, uh, he's going to keep playing, and that's exactly his style. He likes, to, he likes to play hard all the time. He doesn't ever give up. If he does ever give up, it's only a couple seconds out. But uh, seriously, look at Toxic. And here is Fatality pushed down, and Fatality comes up with a kill there. And this is what he needs to do. He needs to get in the mode of killing. He needs to, to forget about this match and head into the next one with full confidence. We are going to be going off the placebo. He did just beat Toxic on there. A couple kills coming in there. And this is basically his primer. This is getting ready for the next map, Joe. Yeah, he's not going to be able to come back into this one now. I mean, he's got another three minutes remaining. And he's going to be, of course, very, very difficult. Over on Placebo this time. Toxic seems to go back in there to play into the floor of things. The one thing that will help Big Tulsi is the last couple of minutes here. He is the one that's getting all fragile on the crowd. Getting pretty pumped for him now. We'll see if Big Tulsi can actually get anything near to what Toxic has managed so far here on Monsoon. 100 armor, 83 health there as he picks up another 25. And the second one puts him right up to 100. That mega health could be on his spawn point. Love a little rocky jump up there. Toxic across the way with that LG. He switches out to the railgun. Makes the hit as well. They thought he's going to try the same, but he's in no real position to be going for any fights at the moment. Gets up a little bit of health on that red armor. Again, that time is ticking away. And uh, of course, Toxic will be looking. Will, I wonder what Toxic's thinking right now. I mean, we're going into placebo effect next. What would you be thinking if you were him? What? Well, we do have two minutes left in this one, and Toxic's got a commanding lead. Uh, you know, as far as what Toxic's thinking is, you know what? I think he's really taking those words from Jay to heart. I mean, he, he's saying, you know, everyone, a lot of people are cheering for you, man. Uh, you know, this, the studio audience in here uh, may be going for the underdog, but there is a lot of Toxic fans out there. He's saying, do it for your fans, man, and that's exactly what he's thinking. I'm doing it for them. I'm doing it for me. And I, I, I think that he's doing it also for a very nice, shiny Rolex watch. Yeah, 20 grand as well. Um, so uh, we've got just about a minute and 20 seconds to go and again. He's going to get railed from behind that fatality. In comes Toxic again. The red armor was picked up, but it's not going to be enough. Toxic going to make the kill. One minute and ten seconds to go. Again, Toxic going super attacking, leaving fatality down with only two HP. He's going to be helped out a little by those five pelts. Of course, the LG is not really going to uh, have any effect on those. Taking him out there. And again on the conversion. So just one minute remaining here, Brett. This is going to go over to Toxic. We're going to have a second map placebo effect coming up next. We've already seen Fatality take one best out of three. Of course, the second map of that one was on placebo effect. 31 to 18. It finished in favor of uh, Fatality, that one. Yeah, we just have about 30 seconds left in the first map of the second set here on Monsoon. Toxic has really come in here, turned it up a notch, and has, has really basically turned up the heat on Fatality. Is Fatality going to be able to handle the pressure? Because if he does lose this Toxic, if he does lose this next map, Toxic will be the champion. Toxic, Fatality's got a really long road ahead of him. Coming up on five seconds left. We're almost done here. Toxic's gonna get the last kill. 28 to 6 in favor of Toxic from Freedom. The next map is gonna be placebo. Let's get the vote in there and let's get it started. What are you looking to see, Joe? I'm, I'm not sure if we're going to see the same as last time, you know, Fatality start off really strong enough, Toxic completely off his game and pushed him into a position where it really wasn't comfy, you know, he fell back a lot, 31 to 18 in the end. I think Fatality might take it, you know, the way he's been playing, he definitely deserves to take this sort of map, um, but I think Toxic may put up a much better fight this time and probably even take it. I think so. Uh, I, I think so too. I mean, I, th I think Toxic is definitely ready for his match. I mean, he was coming into this match a little bit cold. He had a little bit of a warm-up, but Fatality was playing some matches. So. Come on, John. Yeah. <laughs> 
Getting started in three, two, and one. And we are getting started. This could be the last match of this uh, whole tournament right here. It could be. It also could be, uh, it could go to three. We're gonna have to see here. We're watching Fatality right off the beginning. Some rails coming in here and Fatality down to only 48 HP. First kill is definitely going to be a very big factor in the outcome of this match, I think. If somebody can get that kill, turn on the pressure, and get going on it, they could definitely have a, uh, a run at it. And first blood has come in, and Toxic takes that first kill with just 30 seconds gone on the clock. Yeah, we'll see how important that's going to be. We'll see if we can string a few together and try and uh, mirror what Fatality did to him before. Of course, by this point in the last set, it was already 3-0 to zero for Fatality. In comes Toxic once again with that lightning gun. He saw Fatality trying to back into the corner, trying to get out of range of that lightning gun, but it didn't quite help out. Again, that, mega, uh, sorry, that red armor is going to be picked up there by Toxic. 72 health, 150 armor there as he picks up the yellow as well. So he's got both big pieces of armor under control here. He's going to try and keep on top of the mega health as well. Taking a look down towards that red armor, uh, that rocket launcher area. Around on the uh, mega health spawn, it's going to be faked out here. Coming in from the side and actually knocks him off the platform. Still, he goes back up and takes it. And here comes Fatality again. Bit more LG action. Yellow armor being picked up by Fatality. And a bit of a retreat again. Both players trying to get out. What a shot off with the railgun. But again, another close confrontation. But again, no kill from it. Two to zero. This is a lot slower than the map we saw in the last set, Brett. It is a lot slower. Uh, both the players taking their time, not wanting to make mistakes at all. With a 2 to 0 lead, that is not very much at all. Toxic seeing yeah! it. 28 HP and a rocket going through that teleporter. Takes Toxic down, and that's the first point on the board for Fatality. Let's switch over. At this point, he does have that uh, momentum working on Toxic, and will he be able to get the kill? And Toxic with the machine gun doing exactly what Fatality did to him in that first set. And he's trying to do it again as he's going to head through and Fatality gets the machine gun kill right there and a red armor and that's going to bring it to within one again. As Fatality's in trouble, 12 HP. Heading through that teleporter and there's Toxic just on the other side. Lightning gun kill for him. Back to a two point game. Toxic's got to play this. He's got to play his game on here. He doesn't want to let Fatality get even close to any sort of pickups, and you know what? He's just not holding him off of that, but it doesn't really matter. Toxic's coming in there and strong-arming him with that lightning gun. Very good play there by Toxic. Yeah, we've only got a possible 12 minutes left in this season, you know. This is what it could come down to here. At the moment, Toxic is the one that could end it all in those last 12 minutes here. We'll see what he can do again. Doing a lot of damage to Fatality. He was up on top of that lightning gun spawn. Let's switch it over to Toxic and see what he's got. Plenty of armor there in his collection. You can see 143. He just spotted Fatality up on the third tier as well. And here he goes onto that lightning gun. Bit of exchange fire there with both the lightning guns and also a bit of hyperblaster from Fatality. But there you go, Toxic killing himself. That's not something you normally see, but you see the last couple of games here with the Fatality versus Toxic matchup in this final. Three minutes and 48 gone. Is Fatality going to be able to put something back together and get himself back into this game? Another ninth rail. That was on to uh, Toxic there. He's down now to 47 health. Oh, makes him jump down for the Mega Health. Picked off in midair. That was a great shot there by Fatality, and he's brought this back to a one-point game, it's 5-4, we're only just one minute in, here comes another attack, Rocket Launcher, switching out for the rail, that help is slowly going away, and Fatality levels the up, 4 minutes and 17 gone, and again another rail, straight off the spawn, and Toxic is forced to pick up a bit more help. Vitali is doing what no one has done this season, keeping Toxic on his toes, making him play the game that he wants him to play, and you know what, nobody's been able to bully Toxic like this. Very, very surprising. Watching Fatality now, no armor, as we do have 
Now Pluck is going to force Toxic and Toxic doing a good job of staying away from Fatality. Comes up with the kill with the machine gun and Toxic right after that stops the crowd, stops the cheering because you know what? He got that kill with the machine gun. Toxic needs to keep this strong if he wants to win this one. Fatality has realized what he has to do. Just a matter of doing it. And you know what? In the past two minutes, I'm convinced that he really, really wants to do it. Tied up again at seven. Fatality had the lead there just for a little bit. All tied up. Joe, what's Toxic thinking? I mean, you know, he's thinking like a robot pretty much. Pretty much how he does usually think. Um, you know, is, is he saying, you know, I, I should be more aggressive on him? I, because he pretty much lost a little bit of control to him. Yeah, I mean, that was, that was just to point out a great play there by Fatality Bean. Um, shafted from through the whole corridor, basically. And uh, basically got down onto that yellow health. The 225s and not saving him. He had about two left. He would have been dead a split second after. Managed to live and still stays. A longer length of that middle corridor, just as Toxic was going up for the yellow. But yeah, like I say, I mean, he must be a little bit worried by now. You know, he's, he's managed to win his first map on Monsoon. He's already lost that first set, something which is uncommon for starters. Uh, but I don't think he'll be too worried. You know, he's got still plenty of time to go in this one. He's only one point behind. He just needs to concentrate on getting his control back here. Let's switch it back over to Toxic. See, he's got plenty of health. He's obviously had that mega health. Also, the yellow armor under possession as well here. Taking a look around, trying to spot Fatality. I think he's down there, down, down there near that red armor. Mega health on his spot as well. And just as Toxic goes in, Fatality was baiting him. And the rocket hits him, takes a little bit away from him. But here comes Toxic once again. Good few hits with that lightning gun. Fatality going to reply as well. He drops back onto that 25 health. Toxic doing the same with the yellow armor as well. I mean, this is a really, really close game. It could still go either way, Brett. It could definitely go either way. Fatality now with that lead. Uh, he can't do what he normally does, is play that defensive game. Yeah. Nice rail yeah. action. And a second with Fatality gets another kill. He goes up by two. He needs to separate himself. And Toxic gets hit with another one. Down to 23 HP. And he is going to exit that yeah. middle. Fatality he is doing what most people think was unthinkable. Great job by Fatality here. And it looks like he meets up with him again. And he's just coming out, switching over to Fatality. What's he got going for him, Joe? Yeah, I mean, we've just come past his halfway mark, and he's now four points in the lead here. And, and by the looks of him, he's going to carry on doing this as well. He's 100-100 at the moment. Search out to try and extend this lead. Running those grenades around, trying to catch Toxic out and just waiting. Again, more grenades being tossed away. That Mega Health is going to be on the spawn point. It's going to be Fatality that picks this one up. 200, 100 spots. Toxic down low, gets hit with the rail. He's going to go chasing though with that lightning gun. Toxic forced to back away a little. That red armor is going to be Fatality's uncontested and all. 18 and 18. Again there with that yellow armor. The momentum here, I mean, for the for quite a while here, you can't really say that someone has uh, a definitive momentum, but it's definitely it's definitely shifting back and forth like a game of pong here and fatality. Trying to prove me wrong and say, you know what, I've got this. I got the game. And he's doing a really good job of that. Lightning gun again on to Toxic and Fatality. Sets himself apart a little bit more from him. 13 to 7. Nine minutes gone and another kill for Fatality. He wants to stay in this one. He wants to say, this one isn't over. I'm taking it to a third. Yeah, of course, we're sticking this one. We'll talk about what could happen if we go to a third a little bit later on. Toxic manages to make a kill onto Fatality, though. Still got a long way to come back into this one. A five-point deficit he needs to make up. He's got just over a third of this game to go, really. Let's see what he can do now. Down low inside that Mega Health room. Spots Toxic down on that Mega Health. And Toxic's gonna make, gonna take him down. Quite risky maneuver there by Fatality. Let's switch it over now to Toxic. He's the one that's chasing this lead, trying to build this deficit back. More health being picked up there. Still no arm though, which is why he's just stood out on that yellow armor spawn. 
going to collect that as well. And he's looking for the red, but in comes Fatality, steals it in front of him, managing just to survive with only eight health. Somehow, and made the kill as well. He's brought this back now to a four point game. It's far from over, Brett. He's going to pick up that mega health once again. Toxic is now four points away and five minutes from winning $20,000 and a Rolex watch and the title of best quick four player in the world. Can he do it? Will he be able to live up to the pressure? We'll see. I, I don't know about this one. This is going to be really, really tight. He's got three to make up. He's definitely got the time. He's definitely got everything else that he needs. It's just a case of will Fatality drop the ball here. Looking at Toxic now, and he doesn't have any armor. Looks down, spots up that Mega Health, sees the rocket come from the other side. Now Toxic has to run. He's got to run, and he's got to go, and he's got to find Fatani. He does have 100 armor, and he, if he's able to spawn Fatani, get that kill, and work on that conversion, he could possibly do it. He's not used to being down in situations like this. Don't know if he's too accustomed to it. Of course, he has come back from the loser's bracket uh, and won this before. These guys are on even ground after Fatality winning the first set. Very, very impressive stack from, from uh, Toxic right here. Almost a 200-200, and he is going for it. He is going to go aggressive around the corner. He actually drops all the way down, and Fatality's going to be able to run a little bit longer. Lightning gun coming out for Toxic. The action is getting fierce towards the end of this round. Yeah, we're approaching only three minutes remaining. Still that three-point gap stands, and Fatality is one of those plays that can really, really evade his opponent exceptionally well. We've seen it all throughout the year. And this tournament, in comes Toxic, got a good few hits off. You can see his stack of armor and health. He's forced away from the Mega, and he's going to go in. He thinks he can take Fatality down here. But eventually he has to drop down. He's going to go for the red armor. Face out. He's in there as well, and he's going to get the kill, bringing it back to two. Three points. Uh, sorry, three minutes remaining. Yellow armor picked up as well. Surely going to get the conversion here. There goes Face out. He hit the finish rocket and a great one through the teleporter as well. The crowd go wild. And back to three points we are, but still plenty of time to go. If Face out is going to carry on pulling things like that off, he deserves the title. We're going to keep it on Toxic for the moment because he's the one that uh, we're seeing Fatale in his scope. He's got to get this kill uh, very, very quickly. Time is running out as Toxic on that yellow armor spawn. Fatale keep it on that pressure. He's usually doing the running game by now, and he has been for a while, but I think he could be switching up his gameplay a little bit and trying to keep a little bit of pressure on Toxic. He doesn't want to get, he doesn't want to get fragged here. It's Toxic waiting there for that red armor. He's got the good stack. He's, he's able to, uh, he might be able to do this. He's got to go on the attack. Picked up that yellow armor, so all the armor's gone from Fatality. And here is Toxic picking up the kill and bringing it back to within two, Joe. Yeah, two kills, two minutes. That's pretty easy. There he goes again with the rail on that red armor spawn. We're looking now over at Fatality, only 36 health remaining. He's got one point, uh, one point lead here. Only 20 health though, he's in desperate trouble. In comes Toxic, level things up with a minute and a half remaining here of this World Series of Video Games Grand Final. And again, he's being chased down. You can see them getting a lot. You see again, 96 to 60, of course. These guys have fought the whole weekend here. Toxic, the one that's been dominating the whole year long. Fatality, the guy that's never won a Quake 4 uh, championship. Who's going to take this one? We're all tied up. I'm so excited for this last minute. We're about to hit it, Brett. Uh, Brett. This is going to be intense. This is going to be intense. We've just hit that one minute warning. This could be the last of the World Series of Video Games 2006 season. Will he be able to push it to another map? We're going to have to see. We're going to, we're actually watching Fatality now, seeing what he can do. 117, only 8 armor for Fatality. He's going to pick up maybe his last red armor. He picks it up there and he's going to go for that kill. I don't know if he's going to try to take this aggressive or buy himself a little bit more time by pushing it into overtime. 30 seconds left. Toxic on the other side of the map and Fatality on that Mega Health. Toxic nowhere in sight. If that they, could be big. 
that could be very big, picking up that, that mega health. Yeah, I mean, 20 seconds to go, almost, well, 15, 10 seconds to go now, you know, it ticks down so fast. 15, 15, it is, Red Armor is on its spawn point, and it's going to be Fatality that picks that one up there. He's going to go searching, he's definitely got the advantage here, we're now into overtime, two minutes are going to be added to the clock, still tied up of course, Fatality with a distinct advantage at this point, with the fact that he's got 160 health, 185 armor, he goes in for that mega health as well, in comes Toxic with the Rockies, great LG, we're looking at his health come down, and a great bit of play there by Toxic with that lightning gun, puts himself into the lead, still a minute and 40 seconds remaining though, in this overtime, let's see if Toxic can keep hold of it, let's switch it over to him, him now, 77 health, 65 armor toxic, he's just going to keep things tight, he just needs to hold on to this last minute and 20 seconds that he's got going, dropping down for that red armor, still looking around, Fatality is going to be around here somewhere, of course the time is slowly ticking away, you know two minutes is a lot of time, he can make that run if he keeps ahead of Fatality at all times, he can do this. There goes Fatality through that teleport. Let's switch it back over to him and see what's going on. We've got one minute remaining here in the overtime. Things are getting very, very close. Fatality chasing him down in that lower tier of middle. Toxic not going to Fatality is going to catch him down by the railgun spawn. Level things up again. 45 seconds to go. This is super, super close. Very close, Joe. We've got 40 seconds left on the clock. We're still following Fatality. He really wants to get this kill and keep this one alive. 30 seconds. Double overtime is possible if they are even. And here comes the kill. Who is going to get it? Fatality's got those two bubbles on the side. And Fatality takes the lead. 20 seconds left. Will he be able to hang on? His depth got only 93 HP. 15 seconds left. Fatality on the run. Here comes Toxic. Here we go. And that pretty much seals it right there. Five seconds. Five seconds left and down. And that is going to be it. 18 to 16. Fatality pushes it into the last match. I'm lost for words at the moment, you know. I mean, it's my job, but I still can't talk properly. What a great game this has been so far. Fatality pushing that one back to back, taking the lead over time. And in the last 30 seconds of that overtime, he pushed himself 18 to 16 in the lead. Let's give a bit of a rundown of the scores we've seen so far. 4-3 on Frantic to Fatality. 31-18 on Placebo Effect to Fatality. We move then into the second set, um, where, of course, Fatality lost the first map 28 to 6. And, you know, he must have been feeling a little bit worried then, and a little bit worried about, what, 12, may, 12 minutes? through in, yeah. uh, in placebo effect again but then he stepped up his game got it going pushed it into overtime and 18 16 the victor we're now going to decide on the third and final map this will definitely definitely be the final map of this quake 4 season here at the world series of video games and what a great great match we've seen so far what a great season we've had oh, yeah. all year long we've been following these guys around and to come to a final like this overtime in the second map of the second set and fatality end up pushing it to a third could you ask for a better tournament you couldn't well you know <laughs> this, this is just so so awesome for a tournament game like this um you know the grand finals things getting very very close here and the winner of this map it's all a level playing field now don't forget fatality got a little bit of momentum up in that first set then he was knocked right back down and then of course he's come back in placebo once again we've got justin the uh, head admin over there for the world series of video games just sorting out what this third map's going to be the players keeping themselves warm on one of the standard quake four maps here um, and then as soon as we find this out of course we'll be moving over there and getting things underway well, the two choices that we have, uh, they're not actually choices, the two uh, sides of the coin that we're going to have is going to be Galang on, uh, on one side, and then it's also going to be Frantic. And if it does go to Frantic, Toxic's going to be feeling very, very, uh, I don't know, very weary on that. Fatality did a great job. Uh, Toxic actually switched his map pick over to Monsoon and dominated Fatality on Monsoon. So... You know, this one definitely could go either way. These guys are uh, having pretty much the games of their life here. Fatati really, really doing a good comeback. 18 to 16 on placebo effect. 
Yeah, I mean, of course, Fatality's got 12 titles over five games, and, you know, he might as well make it 13 in six. <laughs> this <laughs> this will be happen. the sixth game. That will be the sixth game, and it will be the 13th title. We just need to find out what this last map will be, and then we'll find out very, very shortly. Of course, these guys, I mean, like you said, Frantic's going to be a bit of a weary one for, for both of them. I mean, it was very, very close. Four to three, a really low-scoring game on that one. If we go over to Galang, of course, that was Toxic Speciality. He's sort of transitioned a little bit over to a Monsoon, but I think he's going to be just as deadly there. I don't know if uh, the people at home are realizing how special that uh, 12 titles in six game or in five games really is. Uh, imagine somebody winning the NBA Finals, going on the next year to win the World Series, going on next year to win the Super Bowl, then the Stanley Cup, and then the World Cup. Do something like that. It's never been done before. And Fatality in video gaming is, you know, uh, he's the only person to ever do something like that. Trying to extend it. And I think he definitely could do it. I mean, uh, play, with play like that, uh, staying away from Toxic uh, at the right times, attacking when he needed to, uh, some of the smartest play I've seen all year long, Joe. Yeah, of course. So uh, we've got news. The coin toss is about to take place. Take it away, Greg. The magic finger. I am very excited right now, guys. Let's keep in mind two maps to pick from. Final 15 minutes of the World Series of Video Games. This is what we're coming down to. Heads is frantic. That's the map. Kalang is tails. Are you ready for this? I'm going to flip the coin and we're going to find out what they're playing. Ready? Looks like heads. Frantic is going to be the map that we are playing. Guys, you ready to go? Frantic, ready? It's going to be fun. Final 15 minutes. Going over to Frantic. 15 minutes. Final 15 minutes. $20,000. A Rolex watch. It's all on the line here, of course. The title of the best Quake 4 player in the world. The biggest bragging rights you could possibly have in the video gaming world. Uh, these guys are shooting for it right now. Uh, I don't think that they're going to warm up too much. They're going to uh, get ready as soon as possible. Toxic has read it up. We're going to get going. We are going straight into this one here on front. We've got two seconds and one second. We are live here in the final tiebreaker map. This is going to be it. And already, Toxic goes bursting out after picking up that lightning gun. Three seconds in. What a great start for him. He's going to uh, try and continue things here. He picked up the red armor and just bring it around in circles. Fatality already released that rocket launcher, though. And he's going to bring it back to 2-1. A bit of a double kill going on there, Brett. What a fast and furious start we're having. Well... What we're looking at here is Fatality. I definitely think that Fatality has the advantage on this map. Toxic is a very strong frantic player, but taking a look at what we saw at the very beginning, Toxic winning, not very, very small margin, but he does have that confidence. Fatality knows, hey, I can do this. I've only got 15 minutes, and I can be the world champion in Quake 4. He's got more pride than anybody else, and he can do it, and it looks like Fatality knocked him down, and Toxic was able to grab a kill right there. Three to one is your score, and Toxic is not going to let up the pressure at all. Yeah, of course, that's exactly what he needs to do. He knows it as well. He's going to go keep pounding Fatality, not let him have the space to move. Not going to leave him the items on the map to pick up and really use. You can see that the only thing that he's really got for use at the moment is a shotgun and 94 health. No armor for him at the moment. He's going to wait down there for that lower yellow. Red armor being picked up by Toxic over the other side of the map. And here comes Toxic again. Lightning gun blazing down that back corridor. Fatality managing to give him the slip a little there. From down in the lower area. But again, Toxic coming in from behind. Fatality makes the jump over onto that jump pad. Didn't reach it though. He was already nice. shot down by that lightning gun. And again, Toxic constantly hounding him, coming through the teleporting. Nothing at this point Fatality can do about this. He's finding himself down by a good five points. Again, moving away. He's picked up the red armor, but is it going to be enough? Those three rockets that have just hit him are devastating. And six to one it is as Toxic finishes him off with the Hyper Blaster. Do not count Fatality out. He is going to come back in this one and really make this one a game. As soon as he gets that frag, that frag that everyone looks for while they're playing this game, he is going to go aggressive at the right time and pick up some kills. Switching over now, we're going to be watching Toxic as he's playing a pretty much a flawless game at this point. Knocks Fatality down uh, by that red armor spawn and right after the respawn gets a quick kill onto Fatality. 
Looking at Toxic now, he getting hit after hit onto Fatality, and Toxic is, wow, he's looking really good. I mean, his LG is dead on. Switches over to the Rocket to finish that one off. Not letting Fatality breathe at all, and you know what? The, uh, the story of Fatality is, it's, uh, it, it looks like it could be coming to an end. Like I said, though, I, I wouldn't count him out unless uh, we get such a huge number that it's going to be mathematically impossible for him to come back. Yeah, I mean, we talked a bit earlier about it being a Cinderella story, you know, and uh, I'm afraid to throw this one in there, but I think it's about to hit midnight. <laughs> He's got to go home, you know. It's 12 to 0 down at the moment. Toxic playing an absolutely amazing game, not letting up the pressure whatsoever. Still watching Toxic here. Plenty of armor to work with. And you know what? He can just sit back and relax for now. He's only played three and a half minutes. He's got such a big lead. But all he needs to do is make sure that he doesn't die anymore. Again, there goes a few more armor shards for Toxic. Let's switch it over to Fatal to see what he can do. See if he can build something back. Keep this dream alive that he's got. Again, 101 armor, 56 health. Going to pick up another yellow health bubble. Worth 25, of course. 50 armor being picked up as well. So he's not got a bad little total here now. 144 armor, 100 health as he picks up that uh, 50 health bubble. He's going to go steaming around this corner. Or maybe not as he sees those, those grenades waiting for him. They would have halted him right in his tracks. Those grenades really being spammed out there by Toxic. He's actually stood up on the grenade launcher spawn. You can see the rockets being fired down right in front of Fatality as well. Bit of a lightning gun stream coming down towards him as well. There goes the red armor pickup. So Fatality in a really nice position now. A full 200 health. Well, Toxic's not scared. He's going to go in with that lightning gun prime. Manages to take a fair bit away from him. You know, about 70 armor it was. About 25 health. Toxic still down below him there on that second tier. And Fatality is forced to retreat with only 37 armor. Let's take a look over at Toxic. One armor and 80 health. And he picks up that big 50 in the middle. Watching Toxic now. On that red armor spawn. Is he going to be able to get out of there? Or will Fatality turn on the pressure? You know what? Fatality's gone. Fatality is nowhere near Toxic at this point. Toxic. Using those grenades. He's only got one left. Try to utilize those rockets onto Fatality. Making his way over towards... Uh, he's on that upper tier. He does have the high ground. A little bit of a machine gun coming out. Toxic playing that really slow game. I mean, we saw the most impressive... Basically, the most impressive minute and a half beginning for Toxic here. Up 12 points very, very early on. But from then on, it's been pretty much the, the run and hide game, the defensive game we've seen here. Yeah, he knows exactly what he needs to do. And to be honest, quite now, right now, he is doing that, you know. I mean, he's just gone past 5 minutes and 50 seconds into the game. He's using a lot of prediction work. He's using those rockets, those grenades to cover all the entrances and the, uh, and, and the exits to where he stood. Not letting Fatality come, out, come at him at all. Not got much health really at the moment, only 58 health, 96 armor. He's going to pick up another one of those yellow health. And also that red armor, so uh, still plenty to work with here. And he's going to go out and attack Fatality and manages to get the kill as well. Very wise play, that's exactly what he needs to do. Build your armor, wait your time. And of course when you're in the lead you can really afford to do that. If it goes wrong then you just go again, you know. 14 to 0 it is. Six and a half minutes to gone here. Uh, minutes gone here. You know the fact is at the moment that it's been such a close game, we've already seen four maps. This is the fifth one of course you saw that overtime in the last one earlier on the placebo effect. And Fatality came out and forced this one into a third. Toxic still racking up the kills. Now 15 to 0. Another pick on that yellow arm and some lovely hyperblaster fire. He's just demolishing Fatality at this point. Well, I call Fatality as being the uh, the one with the advantage. Uh my foot tastes nice because Toxic is playing pretty much the game of the year here. No mistakes, nothing at all going wrong in his game and Fatality is just, he doesn't know what to do. He can't come back from it at all. 
Yeah, I mean, of course, for, uh, Toxic's been on top of the Quake 14 all year, and some would argue that he actually deserves to take this one. Um, you know, he's been constantly up there, top of the WSVG points list. Uh, he won the Intel Summer Championships, he was second at DreamHack, he won WSVG UK. You know, he's been constantly up there. And he's got those, all those titles in a row, and it doesn't look like he's going to be losing out here. Again, more grenades being pushed around. That lightning gun is going to come out as well. And Fatality is going to fall on that black corridor. You saw Fatality turn his back for a second and trying to escape. But of course, that LG too powerful for him. And again, he's going to have the same effect. Almost took Toxic out there, though. Looking down to about 25 HP. But at 21 to 0 and at 8 minutes 13 gone, he's got to say that uh, Toxic peaking just at the right time. Yeah, he really is, and you know, he's turning on the game and he's playing the way he should be playing. Uh, and he's doing, basically, he, he's, he's being toxic. That's, I mean, you can't put it any other way, he's being toxic. Uh, 24 to nothing. Stick him on minus! <laughs> Little banter there from the crowd as well. Again, 24 to zero. <laughs> 24 to zero. Oh, Toxic, did you say be quiet in the studio? No, no, he says it's quiet. Oh, in the it's studio. quiet. In the Not studio. much cheering going on this match, as Toxic is is uh, winning pretty pretty handedly. I mean, he he's pretty much taking Fatality's ass and handing it to him on a platter. Yeah, that's true. I mean, there's no other better analogy for that one, you know. We're nine minutes in, it's 27 to zero. I forget the last time I saw a, uh, a map like this. Fatality might get something out of this, though. Seven health left for Toxic. Or maybe Toxic will just carry on and destroy him a few more times with that little bit of health that he's got. A lovely rocket once again, flinging him against the wall. And another one down at the entrance to that red armor room. He's just, he's just looking for the, uh, just looking to extend this one. 27 point lead at the moment. He's not going to be touched this last fifth of this game. In comes, yeah, no, in comes oh, mentality though, and finally he's going to get a, a kill on the board and the clutch here, of course, it has been the whole way through. <laughs> Fatality doing a good job so far of pushing this through. 27 to 1, you know, 26 points. Wow, and we're not even over yet. We've still got a full third here on Frantic. Yeah, we just hit that five minute mark and Switching over to Fatality, he's the one who got the last kill, so we're going to watch him. Down to 29 HP as Toxic is playing uh, Fatality's game. Going to play defensive, and you know what, he can pretty much just run around the rest of the time and win the championship. Fatality making his way out towards the middle, and there is Toxic, and Toxic is waiting for him with the lightning gun. Toxic did go through, another kill coming across the board for Fatality. Nice work there with the rockets, pulled Toxic right across that gap in the middle, straight over the top of the lava, and he probably landed on that 25 health bubble over the other side as well. I, I know it's a little bit of a far stretch, but if he can do it, this would be the biggest comeback in WSBG history. It'd be the biggest comeback in the history of the world, I think. So, uh, <laughs> 27 to 2, 25 points in four minutes, just under that. In fact, it's going to be the tallest order ever for Fatality, and I don't think he'll be able to manage that. But we'll see. You never know. He's not going to give up. Fatality is one of those players that will play till the very, very last second. At the moment, he's only got 17 health. That falls down a little bit as he drops down from the upper tier in the lower the yellow room. Toxic coming out of the red armor room and that health situation not really getting in a better here for Fatality. Toxic knows that he's going to shut him down again with that lightning gun. Pushes in again. Nothing off the spawn. He's only got that machine gun, the spawn weapon. He's going to try and pick something up. Tries to escape. Tries to uh, try and uh, tries to trick Toxic by going three ways around that red armor room. Didn't quite manage it though. Well, at least he's going to pick up the red. He might have a, uh, a bit of a run on here. He might, but you know, it, it's looking it's looking pretty grim for Fatani, but you really gotta hand it to Toxic here. Take it all that pressure. Winning or losing the first set there to Fatani, coming back and just completely destroying Fatani on Monsoon 28 to 6. And then an 18 to 16 on placebo from Fatality. Uh, pretty much giving us the most action we've seen in a really long time. 
You really gotta hand it to Toxic for taking all that, handling it all, and going back to playing the normal Toxic game, which is uh, starve my opponents, com opponents completely, don't let them do anything, and uh, looks like Fatality coming in with another kill there. I can hear the gauntlet. That would just top it off. He can't his 30th kill with it. I don't think he's gonna. He's gonna stick to the good old LG, and he gets up 30th kill as well. 27 point lead going into the last couple of minutes here on Frantic. We've already seen some really, really great uh, maps already in this game. 43 on the first map of Frantic. 31 to 18 on Placebo effect. Of course, the fatality that won him the first set, and we have 28 6 to top to Placebo. 18. To six, uh, sorry, on Monsoon, 18 to 16 in overtime on Placebo to uh, to Fatality, which pushed it, of course, into this third and final map here. And there's no other thing to say other than Toxic really went back to how it should be playing. You know, this is the Toxic of old, um, and the Toxic that we've been seeing all year round. Yeah, it really is. And you know, he's just going to finish out the rest of this one. We've got a minute and a half left, just under that. Switching over to Fatality, seeing what he's doing. Toxic's pretty much just waiting there on that spot for Fatality to come. Makes his way over across the map and playing peekaboo a little bit with Fatality. And Fatality picks up another kill. Had a way to end it, Joe. End it strong. If you're going to end it anyway, end it strong. Yeah, he's going to try his hardest. Like you said, Fatality, really good sportsman, of course. We'll keep playing till the very last second here. And I'm sure, I mean, Fatality, like I said, he's not won a single tournament this year. I bet he's surpassed all his expectations in getting to this final and doing such a great job at the game. Through Toxic, see Fatality, really aggressive move there. Rocket jump up onto that upper yellow spawn. A few grenades being tossed around as well inside that lower yellow. And one of them actually caught him there as he jumped and he flew all the way across. Again, a bit more LG being picked up. Fatality is still a long, long way away. I was going to say from the comeback, but I'm guessing that's not going to happen now. No, it's definitely it's not going to kill a second. It's, <laughs> we've got 15 seconds left to go in the entire WSVG season of 2006. The crowd is starting their applause. This is going to be it right here. The handshake well, coming in. Well, and Toxic is going to be your winner of the $20,000 and a shiny new Rolex watch. 30 to 5 is your official score of the last one. Big round of applause. Already Toxic ending off the season almost flawless. Yeah. Okay, so uh, the final score of that one there, 30 to 5. And uh, Toxic, of course, finishing the season on an all-time high. He's the guy who's been dominating the whole year long. And now... He gets $20,000 and a Rolex for his pleasure. Okay, it's just uh, getting dressed, you know, the SK team being done proud here by Toxic, you know. I oh, yeah. He's, he's been such a forefront of the community, obviously, winning so many tournaments this year. And, you know, the ones that he hasn't won, he's always finished very, very high them, in them. Um, so, over with... Greg, right now, is going to be the man, Toxic himself. Fatality is there with him as well. Greg, what an absolutely amazing match. This was amazing. Really a heavyweight bout to decide the Quake 4 season. And Fatality, take me back to when you forced overtime. You were able to win that and push it for the final map. Did you think you had all the momentum? Uh, well, I knew I had a lot of momentum going towards my game, but, uh, you know, I think... Uh, you know, if we went to a third map, I was hoping kind of Galang because we never played against each other. And I knew on Frantic, he's uh, on odd percentage, uh, he, he's definitely better. He's won more than I have. And it's actually my first time I ever beat Toxic. So uh, I definitely played one of my best games here for the finals and uh, was able to take the first best of three and almost got the last one. So it was very exciting. Toxic, you tell me, was that the most exciting total match, two sets that you've ever played? Uh, yeah, I guess so. Uh, <laughs> I, I don't remember really. Um, the placebo game was well, in overtime. Then um, I started to get nervous. Um, but I think uh, in the second round, I think uh, I get more adrenaline. And if I get like uh, pumped up, I uh, play a much better game because I concentrate more. 
but uh, Jonathan uh, played very well in the first round, uh, hit all rails and played uh, perfect tactical wise, uh, so I was impressed. All right, I know what you're going to do with the Rolex. You're going to wear it. What about the $20,000? Um, I think I'm going to buy some things in a new apartment. New apartment? Yeah. It's going to be really well ducked down, I tell you what. Congratulations <laughs> again to Toxic. An amazing victory, battling throughout the past year to make it here, and then destroying the competition to prove he's the best Quake 4 player in the world. Everyone give it up. Toxic, the champion.